Hello and welcome to my Particles uh, Fire demo. Um, basically, I'm going to be showcasing uh, some fire that I've been building up uh, through some OpenGL code and uh, some GLS shielding. Um, here we go. So, that's it. The fire's just uh, lighting up in the centre there. Um, as you can see, uh, the particles are emitting on a, an accelerated Y velocity towards the the top, um, but they're also dispersing and uh, resizing and uh, disappearing quite naturally towards the end. And if you look towards the kind of top area, um, you can see sort of sparkles kind of coming through. Um, there's a little thing in one of the shaders where it takes like a subtractive value um, on the alpha uh, to create this kind of pop sparkle thing where the, the, the particles kind of rapidly descend into this little point and flash. Um, the colour gradient on it as well, uh, I, I kind of tweaked that um, so that it se sits there and uh, has like a nice orange edge towards the fire and it kind of breaks off into the red as it's kind of gradually disappearing and mixing with the black uh, background. Um, the alpha values on basically all the particles um, are set to exactly the same so that when they're all kind of bundled together in slower velocities and stuff they create the, the kind of body of the fire. Um, so that's all cool and well if it's just sitting there on its own that's about you know 800 particles or so in there which is quite a lot but you know it's not too bad considering. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just kind of show you um, what it looks like when there's more of them basically. So we're going to set up uh, 10 meters and uh, have them incrementing over a space of one. There we go, let them light up. So, you can see that the, the colours all blend together. Um, each emitter is quite independent of each other. There's, um, it's quite difficult to see at the moment, I'll show you in a little sec. Um, but you can see the, the, the they start to mix in colour and everything all kind of goes in together quite nicely. And uh, because of the, the increment and the position, they all sit perfectly sitting next to each other. Um, so yeah, that looks really cool. You can change the, the life values and stuff to make it last longer. Um, the particles become bigger because they're burning for longer. Um, the particles will also change uh, as they go up uh, as well. So if we change the life value, say we want it to be 50 instead of 25, which is going to alter the point size in the shader. Um, because it's going to burn for longer, so it's going to get like this epic wall of fire. Um, so yeah, you can see the really heavy colour gradient there being pushed through the shader. So now that it's actually lit, it doesn't look so bad. Um, it's kind of smoggy, smoky, nice, and you can get to see the pop and sparkles still um, going in and out there. So yeah, it seems to be okay, the, the behaviour of the, the, the mix and movement as it's going. Um, there's only small increments on the X and Z axis and uh, larger values as it uh, goes to the, the Y axis. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you can do the all different things, each one of them is independent. Um, so just show you that real quick. Um, we're going to change the, the increment value here just quickly, just to show you. Um, they slightly more spaced out, so you can see that each particle system is actually independent. Um, and each body of the fire, because of the random generation uh, and the particle class for the fire, um, each party part uh, each particle has an uh, independent body, so it gets thicker and thinner as it, as each system is independent. So it doesn't matter; they don't rely on each other what whatsoever. But when put together, as you can see, they were blended together just nicely. So yeah, that's that's based on a fire demo. Hope you like it.